Oh look, it's a I'm home, hello, we're back home. She would do, I'm back with my husband, cause he loves me. And about a breath, it's your fault. I just love your money. Shh, stop it now. You're, you're, you, you spread lies on me. We're supposed to have an honest marriage. Stop it. Ow. I have to weigh myself and show the people. Good. Uh, no, put it down. Put it down, you So, I am back from my new house, and my house is in foreclosure. Because I ran out of money, and it's your fault. Because no one bought my Patreon. Actually, we about to hit 3,000 people over there. Hey. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. But we're gonna weigh myself to see how much I've gained from all this stress. And water. You stop it right now, you little potato head, Mr. Potato Head. Hippo. How am I a hippo? You're, you a, look, you're a potato head. You look like a hippo. You smell like a hippo. You I, bathe like a hippo. I, wanna see how much I weigh, thank you. And you better be nice to me, and you better not lie. Cause you lie on me. This is my welcome home ceremony. Oh. You have no neck. What's she doing? Go down. What's she doing? She's coming up with a lie. Oh look, you have your compression socks on. Is she coming up with a lie? She's still thinking. You lying bitch. Literally just broke. How did you, you, you just break the scale. You broke the scale. You're gonna have to pay for a new one. You broke, it's your actions on my viewers. Huh? My stupid low IQ viewers ain't my butt. Listen to me, mister. You have no butt. Oh, it's cause she's on the cracks. 325 I gained two pounds. I gained two pounds, what? Well, I know why. I <laughs> this is your fault. You are responsible for my weight because it's stress. It's just water weight. Yeah, I was gonna say you've been drinking a lot more water than usual this week. Uh, what? You mother <laughs> You fool! You snippy sniper, snipey swipe are a renegade. 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 Do you know that song? I know that song. It's by P. P. D. P. I don't know. I'm looking at a hippo having a seizure. P. I know rap actually. P. D. P. Fifty Cent, Lil Sean, Big Wayne. Big, you ain't no big, rapper. Big pickle, little pickle. Hey. Hey. Okay. So, in honor of my weight gain, I think it's stress. Also, I think it's water retention because I haven't eaten enough carbohydrates to flush out. The you water should do stuff. a salad mukbang in honor of your weight gain. Not funny. Be quiet. I'm gonna be doing some cheesy ramen noodles today. Hey, let's go, let's go. It's my room. Welcome to my crib. Oh, look at my ramen stash. Oh my god. Look at my ramen stash. Look at my ramen stash. I'm so excited for these ramen. Today we're gonna be doing. I love cheese. Da -da. I love cheese. Da -da. I love cheese. Da -da. Yes, I do. I love cheese. Da -da. We love cheese. Da -da. I love cheese. Da -da. Yes, I do. I do. We love. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, it's happening. Yes, finally. I've been waiting for this. The holidays are here and 2020 has been rough. So I'm gonna make you a personalized eight minute long video on Cameo. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great Christmas present. Link below. I'm gonna break these chopsticks. I know I don't have a little thing. It's like a feather in the back and I go by the weather. I am very upset. Do you wanna know why I'm very upset? A, I had to come back here to get my stuff. And B, Orland's fat. <laughs> <laughs> He's freaking fat. He's literally my size. Or than weighs as much as me. So the next time he says I'm fat, 
I'll be like, takes one to know one. Orland just hit 300 pounds. Slow clap for the people in the back. 300 pounds freaking buffalo. Mr. Potato Head is what I'm gonna talk. A 300 pound potato head. Disgraceful. Has the nerve to call me fat when he's Mr. Potato Head. Gone on a pizza binge, okay? Just saying, he is despicable. Just unacceptable. I've been dealing with a lot mentally lately. Gosh, I still feel my hair whipping back and forth in the back. It's whipping back and forth and it feels like, oh, why does my hair do this? Oh. Anyways, I went to the dentist. My teeth are turning into Nini leaks. I'm very excited about that. Yay, nice and straight. But, oh, oh. But apparently, my enamel's been wearing off. And they said, well, what do you eat? And I said, healthy. And he said, okay, well, make sure it's healthy. So, we're gonna have cheese for calcium, carbohydrates for energy, spice to boost the metabolism, cheese for calcium and healthy fats, omega-3 oil, Found in the lava sauce I'm gonna make for you. Oh my gosh, guys, it's blowing off. Oh, it's a cameo. Yay! Get yourself a Christmas cameo. We literally are two weeks away from Christmas. Hey! Hey! Merry Christmas! Get yourself a cameo. Link down below. Anyways, so this is what this is. It also has. Oh! This has. Who's texting me right now? Shh! Be quiet! Um, this has mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. I'm literally upset. I'm calling corporate. There's a photo of a mushroom on this pack. I don't like mushrooms. But if you read the site, it said there's nothing in English that says not. This says Los Nulos Instantanale Saute. Is that French? Oh my gosh. I thought this was Korean. Anyways, these are new French noodles. They just came out. Yay! We're making French noodles. <gasps> I'm very upset. I hate cooking. I'm actually already out of breath. Oh my god, I got something new you want to see. I ordered this from Korea. It's called, oh no, I can't remember. It was like, it's not gochujang. It's Korean red pepper flakes. We're going to make lava sauce out of this. We're going to pour it in. It's going to be spicy lava sauce. <laughs> because listen, if I'm here with Orlin and we're back together, oh heck no. We have two, I'm sleeping, he's on the couch, I'm in the bed, thank you. Um, now that I'm back here, I made, I made, I made, I made sure his life is living hell. So we're gonna turn this on, thank you, come again. All right, so we put this in here, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I haven't done the update over here. So the last time I made a video on this channel, I told you guys the importance. Here, let's turn this on. Cooking with Nikocado Avocado, cause I am a chef wannabe, not really. Don't overcook your noodles, you guys. This has been something I have been guilty of for a very long time, and I've never realized just how much I overcook my noodles. I haven't even realized, I haven't. I really haven't. I haven't realized how much I overcook my noodles, but I have. And when they overcook, they get soggy and they don't taste good. And that's why the whole idea of running cold water over them, you stop the cooking process and they retain their gumminess, but that's still assuming that you don't overcook them, which I do sometimes. These, oh, who is texting me? It's Nancy. You guys, I actually have to rant to you about a different lawyer. So, you ready for the rant? Let's rant right now. Um, I literally just, ooh, my hair, it's like going down. I have been ranting already about lawyers this past whole year. This attorney, this attorney, a, a litigator, uh, sending out letters, this person from media, this one an IP attorney, this one for this attorney, this one, uh, uh, so many attorneys. And I'm sick of it because some of them are great. Nancy is good. She's mean and she's a boss and she's scary and you don't want to mess with her. She's one of those bosses that's like, oh, makes the hairs on your neck stand up. Like you don't man. That's why I chose her. That's why I still love her. I prefer, I refer her everything. She's a litigator, meaning she is a tiger in the courtroom. She has outstanding reviews. And I don't even care about the views. The way she speaks to me on the phone, the way she, and we took care of this, and this was sent out, and this was issued. Like, she's like the, the DA from Law & Order SVU, like the really intense one. What was her name? Casey, cabinet, uh, 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 Casey. I think her name was Casey. They had a few of them. Aw, the DAs were really cool. Some of them, there's that one drunk, uh, but she was also like a witch. She was like, you don't wanna mess with her. Did you ever see that? Oh, whatever. Uh, 
<laughs> My pinky. So this is not enough water, but we don't want to do too much water, you guys. I've learned my lesson. Don't overcook your noodles. No. You do not want to overcook your noodles because this happens and it's bad. You want to flash fry them, but it's not frying their water. Flash, heat them up, okay? So. We have carbonara noodles and I'm going to do times 10. Yes, Christmas is here. I'm literally gonna be the Grinch for the Christmas. I saw everyone say, you should be the, oh, I have a stretch mark under my double chin right here, right here, there's a line. It's like, you know, like on the back of your neck when you get sunburnt and like a lot of sunburnt and so it turns into sun damage and there's like a permanent crease. It looks like like a, a crease on your wallet. It looks like leather, you know, on the back of your neck. I don't really go outside much, I don't have one, but I have one right here under the double chin. It's this permanent crease, like a couch, like a leather couch, like a leather wallet, just right there, a crease. Even if I pull it back, it's still like, I literally creased my own chin from the water weight. I need to be careful, because if this comes flying, this is gonna burn me, burn me to pieces, send me to ashes. So this is the tray that we need. Big old tray for two big old balls. And I'm wearing black, because I like black balls. Okay, big old black balls, here we go. A for the Christmas tree. I, my favorite color is black, and yes, I do have black ball over ornaments, thank you. And don't be perverted and think I'm talking about anything else other than the color, like Oreos. <sighs> Anyways, or licorice. No, 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 I love licorice. Okay, so we are gonna fill this up. We're doing 10 packs for this, tr okay, yes we are. We're also gonna do cheese. This is gonna be very filling. <laughs> Yay, Christmas is here. Oh my gosh, we're like two weeks away from Christmas. I can't believe it. Today is December 9th. December 9th. December 9th. How many days until Christmas? What's 20, what's the Christmas, the 31st or the 25th? Hey Siri, what day is Christmas? Hey Siri. Hey Siri, what day is Christmas? Christmas day is on Friday, December so 25th. 25th. Okay, go. December 25th, now I know. December 25th, okay, hello. And guess what I'm getting for Christmas? A bucket of coal. <laughs> Cause I am a bad, bad boy. I'm so bad. One, two. Oh yeah, let's talk about this lock room member. I'm not gonna expose their my name, even though I could, which would be my constitutional right to leave a public review. My opinion, my review, but uh, you know what? You just be a little extra safe here. It is an unnamed law firm. Now let me tell you about this lady. This lady. Uh, well, it was also a man who talked like this. He talked like Donald Duck, like, but he also like, like he had marbles in his cheeks. That's how he talked. And I'm just like, what's wrong with you? Why are you talking like that? I can't understand what you're saying. Enunciate. Oh my God. So he was part of the secretary team. There was a guy and two ladies. And one, the one lady was just dumb. She was just like, dumb. Like, just so like, So you have, people, I follow that. I called. I called that. It's like, what is wrong with you? Why are you talking? I can't understand you. Hello. And then you have a lady over here like, like a dumb lady and a dumb man a dumb good lady and a dumb man and in the middle was a wicked witch she was horrible the lady was the worst let's start opening this is not enough water for 10 packs of noodles Jesus Mary and Joseph so we're gonna do five. Oh man how are we gonna do this how am I gonna cook this do I have to do more water No, it's so many noodles. Let's just do a little bit more. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this ready. 
So these are the noodles. They're like little ribbons. They're so actually really good. <laughs> I'm always like, ooh, they're gross, ooh, they're gross. They're actually really tasty. Thank you. Come again. But this lady, the main secretary, she referred to me, hi, Mr. Avocado. And she was so cruel. She was like that slap in your face, like kill you with kindness, but it wasn't even kind. It was just, it was passive aggressive. Well, Mr. Avocado, we already sent it. I'm like, yeah, well, you messed up the numbers. Well, we're only human. I'm like, yeah, but you charged me $5,000 for this part and you didn't do it accurately and you didn't bother to notify me and the invoice I never received, but you charged me for a late fee even though you never gave me an invoice. Well, we sent it, Mr. Avocado. Perhaps you should learn how to check your email. I'm, well, we're only human. We only make a little mistakes. Mr. Avocado, he went, she was referring to me by my lap, uh, Mr. Avocado. Well, we're only human, Mr. Avocado. We're not perfect. Are you perfect, Mr. Avocado? That's what the secretary said to me, asking me if I'm perfect. Excuse me, I just called you out on doing sloppy work, and your response is, well, I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? Shape on you. What a horrible, horrible look for this. Oh, it gets even worse. It gets even worse. Even worse. So this whole thing, by the way, this is this is a true story. And it happened kinda recently. Never told anyone. I really I was so close to making a review and roasting them on YouTube. But you don't want to do that to the lawyers. They don't have to get Nancy to go litigate in the courtroom. Okay. <laughs> so we're keeping this anonymous. Well. So after you're done getting what you have to get done, so basically I'm not gonna go into detail, but they had to send out a bunch of formal letters to different agencies and defendants. That's all I'm gonna say. They had to send a bunch of formal letters, which had to be formally typed. The lawyer was good, it's kind of boring, charged a lot, but the secretaries made it horrible. So what happened was when you're done, which there were errors and the numbers were wrong and they overcharged and they literally, I feel like they stole it. I'll get to that in a minute. Well. When you're done, you get a big old invoice. Oh, which by the way, I had to ask for. They didn't even bother informing me. They didn't send it to my mail. They didn't give me an email like I was supposed to just know. And then you had the, oh, I sent the paper. I faxed the paper. And then you have this girl over here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The papers, I don't know, the paper. And then you have this one in the middle. Well, Mr. Avocado, we're only human. We're, all, we're not perfect. Are you perfect? And if you read the bottom of the invoice, this is what it says. If you leave a five star review, not four, not four and a half, five star. If you leave a five star review, we'll give you $30 for thanking you for a great review. A stunning, glorious, bright lights, shine, put up in lights type of review. And that's what lured me into, you know, re retaining with this firm was because they had amazing reviews. Like, amazing. And then after this whole experience, actually, no, during the experience when, like, they were treating me nasty, they lost papers, they overcharged, they were incompetent. Oh, my God, the disorganization in their office was, you don't even know. I wish I could go into details. It was so disorganized. Like, your job was X, Y, and Z, and you did B which wasn't even part of X, Y, and Z. Yet you charged for it, and then you did it late, and then you messed up on it. Just horrible. I mean, I got what I needed to get accomplished. Okay, channels went down. But at the end of the day, it's like, it doesn't matter if I get monetary rewards. It doesn't matter if there's settlements. It doesn't matter anything. What matters is the way you conduct yourself during this process. And they're, you know, persuading people to leave glorified reviews that are beyond the truth to lure other people into their firm. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, no wonder it was five stars, five stars, amazing, amazing. The best law firm, the best lawyers in Orlando. And it's like, no wonder everyone said it. They all wanted their $30. That's just, that's just sleazy. That's just not kosher at all. Horrible be be behavior. And I'm thinking like, it makes you think, how many reviews are paid for? And it's legal. You're allowed to give them a little reward for leaving a review. You can. But they said a five star, you can not a four. And so it makes you be, be dishonest. And so a lot of the problems that I think were evident in this sloppy, unorganized, uh, not unprofessional environment were under the rug because everyone wanted their 30, 30 bucks, which is a lot of money. 
That's a whole nice meal at Red Lobster. Well, ew, no, don't go there. <laughs> at um, Cheesecake Factory. Well, maybe one dish and some water. <laughs> it's too expensive. You know, that's a whole mukbang at McDonald's. I'll spend thirty dollars on a mukbang. Yeah, that's my like average price of a mukbang. Between, I'd say twenty-five and forty-five is my average. I like to aim around like twenty, thirty, thirty. You get yourself a whole mukbang for free for saying nice things about someone. Oh yeah. Well, what if they made you feel bad the whole time? And they're gonna get away with it because no one knows the truth of how they treat their clients. It, I'm just. I, it's beyond me how furious. Oh, upset, and they were nasty about it. And they didn't give me an invoice, and I was like, there's still money left in my retainer. And they're like, actually, you owe us 27 cents. But we'll be so kind, Mr. Avocado, since we're only human and you're only human, that we'll close the case upon your, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll grant you, was it like bet on good wish or whatever it's called? We'll close the case, you know, with a credit so you don't have to pay us our 27 cents. I'm thinking like, I owe you 27 cents. Excuse me, I've been keeping track of all my invoices. You still owe me like, it was like 600, 600. they stole. I'm like, where's the invoice for this? And then they send me a completed list of all the phone calls, all the emails, all the paperwork, all the, this has to be executed. This one had to be drafted. This one had to be signed. This one had to be delivered, postage stamped this. Da, da, da. And there's one invoice in there that they snuck in there that I never saw, and it was like, research. It was for research. Re it just says for research, six hundred dollars. They were just trying. They just want to keep the invoice. They always say if you go tip for people who need to go talk to a Nancy. <gasps> if a lawyer asks for a retainer, expect to never see it again because they will try to keep it, all of it. They'll try their hardest to say, well, I read this email, it took me 27 minutes. I get, you know, you pay me $500 an hour, 27 minutes of five, you know, that's $200 to read your email. They'll just make it up that it cost, that it took them that long. That's what happens. Okay, so we are flash cooking these. One, two, three, here we go. Everyone in the boat. And so these have to go really, really fast. Where are my big chopsticks? Oh, here they are. <laughs> so while those are cooking, we're gonna put in our little powders. One. Two. And I'm just, it's so infuriating, it really is. Three, is this too much water? Shoot me now. This better not be too much water. It better not be. You messed with the wrong woman today. Okay, that's what I say. Get out the way. No, this should be enough. I'm eyeballing it, this should definitely be enough. Don't overcook your ramen, period. Don't overcook your ramen, period. Don't overcook your ramen, period. Don't overcook. Don't overcook. Don't overcook your ramen, period. See, it's already softening up. Okay, perfect. Ooh. It's just infuriating. Oh, man. it's just nasty. Na well, Mr. Africa. <laughs> The paper or the pepper? Marbles in his cheeks. I'm like, okay. Just, uh, uh. Uh. And this is, this is, this is what happens in society. People are persuaded emotionally to do things that are just not even part of it. Like, what? You're gonna make, you're gonna give them, okay, you're gonna give them all this money. Oh my God, this might be too much water. Oh. It doesn't help that this doesn't cook fast enough. It's your fault! Cause you have to sit here and watch me do it like a peasant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to add more cakes. Orlin, come help. I messed this up. 
Oh, is there still some? There is still some in here. Okay. Orlin. Please bring me two more carbonars. Thank you. Come again. What? Two more carbonars. Okay. Please, because I, I need to watch this. This is time, time really right next to you. sensitive. I'm not leaving. If I overcook Did the I ramen, this? no, that's for the thumbnail. Where are they? There is a bunch. Okay. Open your eyes. Use your eyes. God gave you eyes. Did he not? Did he? Did he not? I think he did. Yeah, well, God needs to tell you where the carbonara is because I'm hungry. I don't see it. I can't open anymore. I'm literally looking at two right where there. Where are they? Right there. Where? They're right there. Get the carbonaras. Thank Want you. Did I open it? No, don't open it. Did I open the package? Yes. Why would you not open the package if I knew we need to eat it? We're just gonna... Show me that for thumbnail. These. Uh, no, 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 no. I need to decide if I need them or not. Definitely not. Definitely not now. <sighs> okay, water? start cutting. No, I don't. What do you want? Start cutting. We're going to do half of them. One, two, three, four, five. So do, do those five and start pouring them in. Please. Okay, get down in there. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited. We are cooking. Why are you putting all five? Do you want to make There's suffer? ten packs in here. Careful with my eyeballs. I hope I fall in your eyeballs. No, Orlin, I have to go to the hospital. Oops. We wouldn't want that, would we? No. It's a kind, gentle soul. Kind, gentle soul, yes. Yes, that's who I is. Kind gentleness. This is going to be so tasty. I'm so excited. I'm going to go like this. Pretend I have a visor on. I'll just have a visor. Have you ever seen visors? This is the funniest looking thing. There's a lot of them in Mexico. People wear visors there? In Chichen Itza, remember? Oh, yeah. The tourists. Yeah. Ah! Lick it clean. Stop! This is spicy! Lick it clean! I'm about to throw this in your eyeball if you don't stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I forgive you. I do forgive you. Ooh. <laughs> Please be careful. You can put them on here because you don't want them to leak everywhere. Why don't you put them on my chopsticks like that? Like a plane. Well, just for that, bring in another spice in here. Actually, first I'm gonna just do like this. This has to somehow get down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, what else do you want? This one. Another one? Yeah, because half of it went on my fingers. Oh, yeah, good thing. Different places. Move it around. I'm trying to avoid your shops. I love cheese. Da dun. I love spicy Korean spice. I love spicy Korean spicy spicy. Spicy Korean spicy spicy. Spicy spicy Korea. Dun dun. Spicy spicy Korea. Dun dun dun. Spicy spicy Korea. Dun dun. Spicy Korea. Spicy Korean food. Thank you. Let me, let me go show you what I got. Hashtag not spons, but this is what it's called. Taekong, uh, Taekong. I don't know. I don't know, but I got this. I love cheese. Dun dun. Yes, I do. Up a little higher. It just fell around. I love cheese. Dun dun. Yes, I do. I do. Let's open up my cheesy sauce. Dun -dun. I love cheese. Dun -dun. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. Dun -dun. Oh my god, this is going to be so spicy. This is going to be so freaking spicy. I can't wait. Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh. What does that look like, everybody? <laughs> Comment down below. 
comment down below what you think this looks like. I think I know what this looks like, but it's a little inappropriate to say for the camera, isn't it? Yes. All right. Let's make this, ooh, lava come out. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this cheese. Ooh. Oh my God, wow. Oh my gosh, this could be so freaking good. Ooh. Yes, look at this cheese, almighty. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Ooh, spicy, spicy, ooh. Spicy cheese, spicy cheese. Mmm. Delicious. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a lot more comfortable, definitely. <clears throat> Let's go. Hi. You told me to be cordial. It's cordial. Don't teach me how to talk! You don't talk to me that way! I talk to you however I want to talk to you. The only reason I'm here with you in this video is because Nancy told me that it's a bad- I'm calling my attorney. Orlin, you're ridiculous. First of all, 2020 is a disaster because of you. My 2020 year has been horrible. Let's think about the year. What happened this year? I mean, what happened? What happened this year, you guys? What happened to me, huh? You got fatter and rounder. Stop! What happened to me this this year, you guys? Let's you lost your neck. It's in lost and found. <laughs> Shh. You're ridiculous. I didn't miss you at all. It was so nice not sleeping by you. It was so nice being away from you. Is that why you were crying like so a little baby when I blocked you? I blocked you so quickly. It's okay, you're not eating. No food for you. You don't deserve to eat. You can eat all my food. You always eat all my food. That's why you're so fat. I... Be quiet. Be quiet! I love cheese. Dun -dun. Yes, I do. You can blame this on Nancy. I'm only here because of Look Nancy. Look at all this cheese. It's her fault. Look at this here. cheese pole. I know you're watching Nancy. Look at all this because cheese. of you that I'm here. Look at all this cheese pole. Oh my god, look at this cheese. Here, let's do this cheese pole. Here we go. Ooh. You were just crying the other day because I cheated on you a lot. Huh? You were crying because I cheated on you many times. Be quiet, Orlin. I need to eat. I'm I'm gonna have diabetes. Stop it! You already have that. You've been there, done that. Been there, done that. You need to move on to new things. Ooh, I love cheese. Bigger, bigger and better things. Dum. Orlin, you're 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 making me mad. I can't even serve myself. Ugh, it's so tight. Ooh. Well, cheers to nobody, not you. Cheers. Cheers to the cardiologist. He's the only he's the only one having a good laugh on your videos. First of all. Your jokes are old. Everyone's sick of it. You're old too. No. You're just obnoxious. Okay, now I'm gonna eat to survive. Here, sit there. So you can see your bowl. This needs cheese. Who look, crusty cheese. You're pouring cheese all over the table, or No, I'm not. Then what was that? You're lying. What was that one? Water. What? Just like your weight, it's all water. It is water. Of course, so this is water too. Excuse me, the doctor said I have retention because of the sodium levels and you know it. He just said that so you could take your money. Uh-uh. Or then stop it! These noodles are so freaking good. Yes, honey, yes. They're very spicy though. Mmm. This tastes good. This holiday season, come treat yourself and join my Patreon. You'll get tons of mukbangs and other content not allowed on YouTube. It makes a great Christmas present. Must be age 18 or older. Link below. Lord knows you need to go on a diet. Don't touch. Don't touch me. Don't touch. No, you don't touch me. You have no right to touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me with those fat baseball mitts of hands you have. Excuse me, they're skinny. There's nothing skinny about you. Give me a napkin. No, no, I'm just gonna say please. Please give me a napkin. No, actually, me. I said please. What, what else do you want from me? Uh, for you to leave? I did leave. I did block you. I did cheat on you. You still were begging me to come back, and then you got nasty on the phone with me, so I could come back. To get my stuff. Don't spend, don't spend lies. I didn't take your stuff. 
So, Nancy's watching this. I know she's watching this. Hi, Nancy. Don't start rumors and spread lies, Orlin. I love cheese. Rather spread lies than spread crabs like you do. I've never had. What is? Do you even know what crabs is? Yeah, it's what you have. It's what makes you itch a bit. Uh -uh. Hey Every Siri, morning, show me. A shh. Your crab. Be quiet. Hey Siri, show me. Uh, wait, start over. What is she doing? Interesting question. Oh, you are a piece of junk. Hey Siri, does my husband have crabs? She, she, look, she went away. Goodbye. She's literally pulling hey, up. Hey Siri, show me an image of crabs. Your photo comes up. You, you, you're, that's like a dumb five, fifth grader joke. Hey, mm. Queen of crabs. No. Oh! She just. <laughs> this is what she Siri pulled up. She pulled up my videos. She pulled up my videos. I am. You. Hey Siri. Show me a photo of Mr. Potato Head. That's not my potato head, that's my pee pee. I think she understood sweet potato. You yeah, first of all, you need to stop calling it. So, oh. It's literally an unpeeled sweet potato. You don't, you don't deserve to eat. You're gross, you're fat, you're, bi you're, you're gross. I know you are, but what am I? You're a child, that's what you are. You're a man child. Why are you doing this on my first, <clears throat> my first day back? Back from what? From the gym? That hasn't happened in a long time. Stop. Get away from me, you smelly. Stop. Get away from me, you smelly blob. I'm not smelly. I just put on the Dolce Gabbana. Oh, but you're not denying that you're a blob. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the human blob. And I give you Mr. Potato Head. That's a potato. I'd rather be a potato head than a blob. You're a potato head. And you're a blob. You're a potato head. Blob. You're a potato head. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. It's your fat legs that keep touching me. Don't touch me. Oh my god, look at these noodles. Ooh. These noodles are very good. I made it very good this time, didn't I? Ooh, hot. It's hot down at the bottom. Yeah, it just burnt me. <clears throat> Mm. Mm. So why were you crying when I blocked you? If you don't love me. If you really don't love me. Because you, you, you have my laptop. I did not have your laptop. The other one, not the one obviously that I use. I'm gonna do a little more spice. A little bit more spice. A little bit more spice for me. A little bit more spice for me. Cause I like it hot. Cause I like it hot. Hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. I love it hot and chewy. Oh my god. This looks amazing. Unlike you. Amazing. Ooh, look at this pull. Oh. The only amazing thing about you is your weight gain. You know, your people are sick of you, Orlin. People are sick of you. No, you're a wonder on YouTube. What other YouTuber gained 150 pounds in less than a year? I can only think of one, maybe. I'm not the only YouTuber. I'm so good. I'm not the only YouTuber to gain weight in a year. And it wasn't 120 pounds. Where'd you get that figure from? How much weight did I gain this year? 150. Excuse me, for all the health experts listening and spying, I've been the same weight for four months straight. 325. Plateau, metabolism, everything, adrenals were all good. We are sustainable living. Sustainable living. Mm. 
the only thing that's sustaining in your body is your high cholesterol. Okay, no. You're predictable at this point. I'm sick of you. Like your cholesterol level, predictable. Shh. Stop! Stop! You're ruining my show. I'm sorry, your face ruined the show. This is why Orland has no friends. You have no friends. This is why you're mean and you're bossy and you're controlling. Did I say mean? Yeah, mean. Oh, look at all oh, that. No friends, because you scare them away with your <clears throat> you scare them away with their smells. You're just dumb. I'm, not, I'm just. They're all getting scared away I'm, because I'm, you smell so I'm bad. I'm ignoring you for the rest of the video. Hey guys, just like all your friends ignore you and ghost you. You're literally the queen of getting ghosted. Oh. Did you just laugh? Yeah, I was just thinking about something funny, but I shouldn't say it. You better not say it. I don't know what you're saying, but... I was gonna say that you probably got ghosted by your birth parents. You're just, I'm not. Oh. Mm. They really dodged a bullet with you, though. Is this good or what, everybody? Mm. Wonderful. Oh my god, they're all stuck together with cheese. <laughs> we have the happiest marriage on YouTube. Shh. Ironically enough, we're literally the only couple remaining on YouTube. Everyone's still together. Mm. Mm. This is so good. So good. So good. This is 10 packs, too. I'm just eating the cheese. Why? Because it tastes good. Because it's healthy. Because it makes me extra healthy. Look how healthy it is. Can't even pull it apart. I know, it is hard to pull. They, the cheese gets all glooped. Look at all the steam coming out. How is this still hot? All the heat is on the bottom, <clears throat> like the pepper heat. All right. Yeah. Have you noticed that? No. Uh huh. The spice. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, I even opened my like it's not enough spicy. I'm not enough spicy. Well, eat it. Now that add it, add it to yours. See how it feels. Can I finish? Like I was saying, as I was eating this, I was like, it's really not that spicy. I like it spicy, but it's not like fire. I like it fire. Now my lips are on fire right now. He's right. All, this, all the spice kind of sunk down. But the top layers, which you were eating, didn't taste that spicy, which is why I added a bunch. And now that I'm approaching the bottom levels, so I'm like, oh. Uh, oh, it's spicy. Yeah, this is only half the spice. Imagine all 10 packs. They only have five packs of spice. 
10 packs, you'd be screaming. Orlin doesn't like spice. This is good if you do less spice. Just like the corn. The okay. corn is the spiciest out of all of them. It's almost as bad as nuclear. Yeah, it's really bad. I, it's surprisingly bad. It tastes good though, good flavor. You guys, I might be pregnant. It's not mine. Yeah, I know. That's not mine. Good. I'm not your baby daddy. Don't quiet. start that with me again. Be I'm quiet. not the baby daddy. Be quiet. I'm in full. That amount of cheese really bulked up the calories. My lips are so spicy. Mm-hmm. I'm getting full. This might be last my, my last bite. You keep saying that, yet you're eating everything. I know. Look at all that fire sauce. Wow. Mm. These are my last bites. Then I'm gonna have some greens. <laughs> And who's gonna make that for you? I'm not doing it. Mm. Um, I'm gonna have, what's it called? An aspirin. Hey, Mr. Potato Head. Iceberg. Iceberg lettuce is my jam. <clears throat> really? Because they all rot in the fridge. You can add enough cheese. Orla, this is swimming in butter, spicy butter. That's why. That's why I'm like. I'm like finished. It's too much. Look at all that butter. You guys see? Look. It's just swimming in butter. All this back here is butter. Spicy. Can you not make a mess. Hmm. Nothing. We're done. <laughs> Say goodbye. Thank you guys. <clears throat> Thank you. Lost my shirt. Oh, I can't get out. What's wrong with you? Shh. You ruined everything. Else. I don't ruin anything. Yes. You ruin, you ruin everything. You, you ruined our marriage. Yes. You, you ruined our marriage when you cheated on me 12 times in a row. That's when you ruined get our marriage. over it. I'm, I'm never going to get over it. I'm still I'm, itching from the side effects of that. Well, good thing we're getting a divorce. Good thing we're getting a divorce. Good thing, good thing we're getting a divorce. Good thing. Yeah, you can't move on from the past. Orland's stuck in the past, everybody. Stuck in the past, well, Orland. It's hard to move on when stuck you're in the in your pants. <sighs> Sit in the dark. Merry Christmas, everyone. And a big thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos. And a big, big thank you to my executive producer, Jamie Babycado. If you'd like to become a producer for Christmas and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself an eight minute long personalized video just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them this holiday season. It makes a great Christmas present. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Merry Christmas. Bye.